Many people hold law enforcement officers to high standards. We go to work understanding that there are very high expectations on us as members of a police department and in positions of public trust. And after Charles Rumsey and other members of the Maine Criminal Justice Academy boards vote to adopt new rules and codes of conduct, those expectations are now higher. This is going to kind of increase the board's jurisdiction to consider complaints against certificate holders who previously would not have been subject to discipline by the academy because their conduct, while it may have harmed the public trust, wasn't criminal in nature. And the new rules prohibit law enforcement officers from harassing citizens on the basis of race, color, sex, sexual orientation, and gender, from disclosing information they know is confidential, falsifying information in official reports, possessing controlled substances, including marijuana while on duty, and more. Violating the new rules could result in letters of guidance, probation, or even decertification. Directors of police unions say the rules are cloaked in vagueness and take the board's authority one step too far. In a letter to the board, the executive directors of both the Maine Association of Police and Maine State Law Enforcement Association, Paul Gasper and Kevin Anderson, write, the proposed rules engender both the complaint committee and board of trustees a veritably unchecked level of power. But Rumsey just doesn't see it that way. This codification of things that are already in most of our policies at our home departments that we shouldn't be doing anyway. I, I don't expect that it's going to cause them uh, much pause and it shouldn't change the way they do business at all. The adopted code of conduct will now be sent to the Secretary of State's office for final review. In Vassal Bureau, Raya Wooten, New Center, Maine.